In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a fully functioning dialogue system, which pretty much shows you everything you need to know with dialogue. This can function and launch other things, for example, you know, quests and side missions, or you can just have a friendly conversation with some NPCs. So let me show you a quick example. We have this little dummy all done here. We can press interact on this guy. It says, hello there, disarray crab. As you can see, it's all changed your name responding. You can press hello to respond to it. It says, can we be friends? Because it's asking a question. We have multiple responses. So I'm like, no. And, you know, he says, you're so mean. Or, of course, we can do this one more time and skip, of course, here and be friends with him. And he says, thanks so much. So this has multiple outcomes. We can have different variables. You know, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know in this video. So stay to the end. Okay, so we don't need this guy anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and destroy him and get a brand new woman rig in here when she decides to load. There we go. So what this girl's going to say is she's going to say some random stuff to me. All right, so here's the plugin up here. The link will be in the description. Just go ahead and press install and you'll get this up in your little plugins tab. And what we're going to go ahead is press on our dummy that we want to know. And then we're going to go and press edit dialogue. And you'll get this pretty cool UI here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and use this to create our thing. So to start off, we're going to press add dialogue. What this obviously does is add some dialogue. Now you get this little weird thing here, okay? So what we're going to go ahead and do is in this little text area here, we can just type whatever we like. So we're going to say, um, hello there, uh, just for now, because we're going to see how this works. So as you can see, we can go ahead and press play because that's how it works. We can head over to our little friend here, interact with her and say hello there, okay? Now that works very nicely, but we want to make this a bit more personal. So what we're going to do is when we edit the dialogue, we're going to go ahead and press this A, B button here, which starts variables. Now you may not know what variables are, but what they are is you can just sort of set a variable and that means you can use it in the dialogue. So we're going to go like this. Uh, we're going to go to player name, write it like this, uh, equals to player dot name okay just like that because that actually should work very nicely okay very quickly i'm pretty sure this is player dot name just like that i just want to make sure everything was all okay there but we're going to do hello there i'm going to go comma and i'm going to paste this little thing here variable player name so this is calling on the variable we just made a minute ago and then we're going to use the variable which we called player name and we just press enter on that and now when we test we should instead of getting some random stuff just you know we want to make it a bit more personal so we can go like this and go to our friend here and she will say hello there disobey crab 04 which is perfect and exactly what we need so let's go ahead and give some responses so to give responses all we want to do i can't even stop this okay there we go so to create some you know different responses and stuff we want to go to this children channel not as in like the small human beings as in like you know actual kind of smaller versions or something it's kind of a subdivision of the parents uh you, it's just sounding a bit weird if you don't know what it's all about but you know look into that kind of stuff you probably have watched you know other blocks of things or whatever but we're gonna go ahead and gonna get this new thing so this is inside this dialogue we're gonna add something here and we're gonna say the text is gonna be hello there um how are you just like that um so what are going to be we're going to go ahead and press enter and what we want to do to make this into a response we're going to head over to this little one button and right click it not left click right click it what then do is make it a response we can press view parent to go back to our start again and what instead of making it you know some kind of just random thing they say it'll make a response so hello just a crab and then you say hello there how are you and that'll bring us to the next part which we have not made yet to make the next part is obviously what we're going to do now we're going to go to view and then view again and we're going to add some more dialogue she's going to say um good thanks um would you like to be friends can't type sorry there we go and we're then going to go ahead and then press add some more so we're going to view children i'm going to add two bits of dialogue this time it's going to be yes yeah i like you you know i don't really know what to say here and then we can add some more and no way you are bad i don't know not very good at this kind of stuff all right there we go uh, we're going to go ahead and make these two responses by right clicking on both of these and then inside of each of these we're going to add some more responses so this is very kind of making a tree okay so no way in the no way one it's going to be like she's going to respond and say oh so rude or something like this and then we're going to go ahead and go back to the parent and then this yeah i like you add dialogue yay can't use capital letters okay um yay let's go okay i don't even know what to say here 
that's, that's all I can think of. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out our dialogue. It's a bit, uh, I don't know, corny and weird, but should be all right. So we can go like this, interact. Hello there, Disobey Crab. Hello there, how are you? Good, thanks. Would you like to be friends? I'm just like, yeah, I like you. Yay, let's go. Or we can go like this. Hello there. Hi, hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Would you like to be friends? I say, no way. You are bad. And it's oh, so rude. Look at that. That is a fantastic load of dialogue. I'm pretty sure I just had a great conversation with someone here. And yeah, finally, if you want to customize all these things, or you want to go into the start to player, start to player scripts, and go into the dialogue client script. As you can see, we've got all of this script here um, inside the themes. What these are, these are actual, like, what the thing looks like. So I'm using the bare bones one. Um, I think by standing it's the big and bold. I don't think this is enabled. Yeah, there we go. This is pretty much what you need to know. And you can customize these really easily. Like inside, everything is like really well laid out. So you can kind of do that really easily. If you want to change individual settings, you can go inside our characters like this here. For example, the dialogue container and then go to settings and all these things. Are really quite interesting. Like the player skips, freezing the player, timeouts. Uh, if you want to have the speech bubble, like this is quite weird. I'm not really a big fan of this. But yeah, all these kind of things kind of exist. We've got proximity prompts rather than click detectors. If you want to click detectors, that's, that's what you can have, you know. There's loads of different things you can possibly have, but I'm always a big fan of the standard stuff. Like, here we go. Uh, we don't even have a... So yeah, that is that really, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I wish myself the best of luck with this person because she's obviously not happy with me. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.